Hey there music friends and welcome back for another reaction and analysis video. Today I'm pretty excited we're going to be getting back to some Bandmade. This is the song Influencer by Bandmade. Don't forget to check out the description down below. There's links down there where you can go and purchase Bandmade music and help support the artist. There's also links down there for my merch store along with channel membership and all kinds of other things. So make sure to go and check that out. And I'm always curious on your thoughts on the music today. If you've got any stories or any information or any general comments, don't forget to leave that down below in the comments section. <laughs> oh my gosh, 34 seconds in and we've got so much going on here. What a way to start this whole thing. Just ripping down that guitar fretboard and whipping us around in the video. And they just, you know, they just hit us so hard. And then all of a sudden they get into this funky groove thing. I want to go back and hear this stuff again because there's just so many cool things. Listen to those drums. We're just galloping away. That was a great fill by Akane, and now we're into this other groove section. There was just a lot of hesitation in that new groove section with the bass and the drums, and that was creating that anticipation, that hesitation, and it just gave it such a cool feel and groove. That is some great Tom work by Akani back there. You know, through this section here, we kind of got back to what she was doing in the beginning on the drums with that galloping kind of sound, where what she's really doing to get that sound is she's just kind of hitting one stick right after the other. You know, the closest thing I can think of to that is a flam, where one stick comes down just before the other, and that's going to create that ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. So we're kind of getting a little bit of that from her. And then she also put in this really cool drum feel, some amazing guitar runs, still the cool bass stuff back there uh, with Misa on uh, the bass. Really cool stuff, just some funky hesitation on the beat, really cool stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's an amazing, that's an amazing fill right there by Akane. Check that out. She's got some, some rolls, some quick stuff on the snare, and then it goes off into the toms. We got some really cool short notes uh, with the bass and the guitar, just a dump, dump, dump. And then the drums kind of come in. Dum, 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 I 
I really like the visuals in this song too. You know, it kind of goes along with this area that they chose. You know, it looks very desolate, but it, it looks just like crazy. You know, well, you like trapped down here and all of a sudden we come flying into the band and then it twists over. You know, their visuals always go along with their music so well. Mm. These lyrics that uh, Psyche is, is singing here, it's almost rap style, but I want you to listen to this again because there was a point where all of a sudden she's now saying everything short and it's all on the ands, it's on the upbeats, not the downbeats, which is so much easier to, to you know sing or play an instrument and have the notes on those downbeats it's a little harder to always be where you need to be and it's on the and the up of the beat <laughs> Oh my, a lot of times we don't get to hear Misa on that bass, but that was some pretty funky stuff. Really funky stuff. I want to see it again. I want to see what's going on and hear this again. So that's what I thought was going on. I thought I heard her uh, slapping and um, plucking a little bit. But then I'm pretty sure I saw at the end that she slipped out the pick and was using the pick, which everybody told me she does this super cool thing where she can kind of slide the pick up into her hand and pull it back out when she needs it, which, man, you know, I play bass. Uh, I, I don't even use a pick. I, I love using my fingers. I think, uh, you know, using the pick is, is cool and it's awesome, but... Everything I do involves, you know, slap, pluck, pulling on the strings. But to be able to go back and forth and do both and sound really good with both, I think that's pretty awesome. That's amazing because I can't do that. I'm pushing like I'm checking loud shit. I feel less now. Yep, there she was. She pulled that pick out. Oh man, not only did we get the funkiest, coolest solo there by Misa, you know, using that slap technique and pluck technique where she's, she was going hard too, man. It wasn't even like she was just doing a little, I mean, that hand was just going back and forth and then she pulls out that pick and she's just putting some pretty cool stuff in on that. Now we get Konami, just a beast of a solo. You know, she, what did she have? Maybe 30 seconds? And she's got all those notes in there, just all that scale work and those arpeggios and, and just chord stuff. Gosh, you know, these ladies do not believe in doing anything slow in any way. It's like, how much time do I have? Okay, I can fit a few thousand notes in there. <laughs> Boy, that's beautiful scenery. I love that area. Okay, Konami just decided that she hadn't played enough notes already in this song. And listen to this. I mean, we've got some double bass stuff going on the pedal. Um, 
you know, she's she's playing what sounded to me not like 16ths anymore, but like 32nd notes, and then throwing in some triplets within that 32nd notes. And 32nd notes are double what 16ths are. So, you know, she's getting like eight notes in the same space where maybe somebody was doing three or four before. Man, are you sure that's that's enough notes? <laughs> I'm 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 blown away here. These ladies can play fast and furious and just complicated stuff. Complicated stuff. I, I don't even know if I would try some of the things that they do. I really might hurt myself. <laughs> That fill right at the end by uh, Akane. Wow, that's mind blowing. I want to hear that again. Yeah, definitely she's throwing in something like 30 second notes, triplets. Yeah. Oh my gosh, those the, the amount of notes that she put in there. I can't I can't even say it that fast and she can play it like that. My goodness, people. These ladies and and a lot of bands from Japan are just not getting noticed. And until I started this channel and people started suggesting them, I didn't even know these people existed. But Bandmate is one of the hardest rocking groups I have heard. These ladies just rock. And not only do they rock, but they've got the talent to back it up. You know, when you listen to that solo that, that Misa did on that bass, just that, that hard and aggressive slap and pop, you know, that slap and pop, and she's just going to town. And then she, while she's doing that, she's holding the pick and flipping it out, and then she's got some really cool stuff that she, she's strumming with that pick on the bass during that solo. And the intervals that I'm hearing in her solo and in Konami's solo, I mean, you know, normal stuff is like thirds. So they play a note in the scale and they skip a note and go to the third note. Then they might come back to that note they skipped and go up to another note. They'll skip over a note. You know, they might start their solos like that, but then they start to expand those intervals to where we're going, you know, a fourth note away or a fifth note away, you know, or a sixth note away. And this is just mind-blowing stuff at the speed at which they're playing these solos. You know, to go back and forth like that with larger intervals at, at the speed and, and putting that many notes in there, that's kind of mind-blowing to me. All of these... Um, Feels that we had also by uh, Akane. You know, that lady's back there. Uh, what was this song? Like three minutes and, and 19 seconds. I would really love to know how many notes she actually got in back there on that drum set. And, and she wasn't even done till the end. And at the end, she decided, you know what? I'm going to throw 100 more in. I mean, that's, that's mind-blowing that somebody can just have that mindset of this is what I'm going to do and... I'm going to do that and and I'm going to make this so in time and and so awesome sounding and it's going to sound so complex but this is nothing for me. That that's mind blowing to think that somebody has that ability and mindset to do that. These ladies are just amazing and mind blowing. I'm just blown away every time I hear them. This was an amazing amazing song. Don't forget to check out the description down below. There's a link down there for more bandmade videos. There's also a link down there where you can click on it and buy their music and help support the artist. That's an awesome thing to do. Also down in the description, there's links down there for my merch store, uh, links for channel membership. There's other ways that you can go and support the channel. If you do that, I thank you so much. Thank you for doing that. 
If you enjoyed this song today and you enjoyed the content, make sure to click that like button. It really, really helps in the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to many more people so they can see it too. And I appreciate you doing that. Something you can do for this channel totally free, hit that subscribe button, become a part of this music community. I really appreciate it if you do that. If you want to see more band made like I do, all you have to do is click on another video you see on your screen and keep watching. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.